Hey, I'm here to give you feedback on your run. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to DM me directly or ping me in your rip thread. Um, just for YouTube viewers, um, the aimbot that we use on our Discord was down for a little while, so the next couple of um, days we may be seeing some runs without seed queue, so keep that in mind when you're watching this. For example, this run doesn't use seed queue. I feel like you waste a little bit of time. This is super small micro stuff, but I feel like you waste a little bit of time over scanning here. Like, you spend a great... Like, you, you scan really, really well initially, but then this little turn here, like, you already know that you're in the chunk. Um, so that's like micro time loss for being over cautious, I guess. But, um, you know, I'd rather you be over cautious than under cautious. But just, just a thing to consider changing. Nice looting. I'd actually... Acacia trees are so hard. Like, you're not going to get a ton... You might get the other log here, maybe. I'd consider moving this one more back to try to get these logs and also that log. Acacia trees are really fucking difficult, though. I wish... I might make a guide on acacia trees. Or like run a fuckload of tests on them as well. Very fast crafting. Um, when approaching ravines, this is another micro thing, your door is facing away from the ravine, or like, not facing directly towards the ravine, like, everybody wants first try flint, right? Or like, really early try flint, and you best set yourself up for that by putting your door to the ravine, because, like... If, like, this third one or whatever is flint, right? That means you can just swim straight to the, um, ravine. However, if you have your door set like this, you're swimming to the gravel and then to the ravine, which could be slower. Of course, you could be doing this anyway if you have late flint, but again, I'd rather, like, people play for the f early flint like they should, because that's faster than... Um, play, f play for late flint. See, this is an example. You gotta go there and then there. But again, it's late, so it ends up not mattering a ton, but, you know. Nice portal. Double grab is always an option to learn, but... Oh, I mean, at least it's on a world load. I like the early pie chart as well. One thing that I'd just consider is copying uh, home portal coordinates always. It's a good habit to just get into when you enter the nether, I think, just so that way when you do have like a fort at spawn, um, 
You just know exactly where it is anyway. And there's a fort there anyway, so it doesn't even matter. For this run. Nice. Good boat clutch, but... Like, I don't know what you're looking around here for. Like, you know generally where the bastion is. You know that it's, like, more that way, I think. Hold on. Quality is kind of killing me. Yeah, I can't even... Yeah, no, I can kind of read that. As in, it's that way. So, and you know that the fort... Like, you saw it, like, 20 seconds ago. I don't understand why we're, like, in that right now. Well, I guess maybe for the Bastion, but, like, you'd see that here in a second anyway, and especially with, like, fucked up lava terrain as well, like, I'd, I'd have liked to see you, like, play that a bit cleaner, I guess. But the boat clutch was nice. I like how you're routing this so far. Um, depending on how you're trying to play this, um, it may just be a good idea to, yeah, like you could have just boat crawled into this gap. Um, are we manhunt? Oh no! Okay. So here's the thing with uh, staples. This is okay. You're not going to get as many pigs, um, potentially, nor will you see as many chests. So. Obviously, there's three different kinds of, um, like, ramparts, right? The triple, the lantern, and then the single. You could manhunt off of either the lantern or the single. And obviously, if it's a triple, you just play triple, especially for RSG. So, while this is okay, I'd consider learning how to manhunt off of the lantern chest as well as the single chest. So that way you also get that chest advantage. We're not doing pig fall. Surely we're not doing pig fall. Oh my god, learn a better route. Even Dugile stopped using pig fall. Like, it's just not as good as the regular route. Like, it might be more comfortable or whatever, but it's just not as good. We've run that experiment for, like, four months or some shit. Looks like you just need explosives and then you're out. Good awareness to task overlap during these last trades. Two bed, two anchor. Plus axe, or sword, or whatever. I didn't see... Yeah, no, you have enough for a sword. So that's good. Hmm. 
very good uh, render distance drop there. Um, I let's just look at the split overall real quick. I think that that pearl could have been measured a bit better, like estimated a bit better. Um, and especially I don't like, um, like, like throwing fast pearls like that and then going in and like crafting stuff just because like, if you don't block clutch that you're in a bad spot. Like, you got the mechanics for it, but there may not have necessarily been a block there. But the rest of the split was just beautiful. Of course, the dynamic doesn't end up mattering, but that's just goofy as fuck. You're in the spawning radius now. Okay. When the blaze in the middle is spinning like that, like, like faster like that, it's going to spawn soon. So you need to keep an eye on that so that way you're not canceling out spawns because this could have easily been a four spawn if you weren't in it. Okay. The way that you're hitting blazes is pretty messy. So you don't need to double crit. Um, I can't remember. Hold on. I'll add... We'll just watch this real quick. Because Reaper is a goat for this. Shout out Reaper. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison for critting... Like, double critting versus just, like, a crit and a hit, right? And the disclaimer that I always have for this is, of course, if you time your second crit perfectly, it won't matter. But since, like, it would be a zero-sum game anyway, like, blaze betting, or not blaze betting, double critting is more often worse than not, and this is kind of a great example as to why. It's very small, it's very minuscule, but, um, no, oh, this is the wrong one as well. That's the other thing with crafting it. If you craft stuff between blaze hits, if you didn't get the chance, it's even more extreme. So, definitely get out of the habit of double critting. And also, um, I don't know what was going on with that place. Oh, you just didn't crit it, I guess. I can't tell if it's nerves. If it's nerves, uh, let me know. We can have a discussion in your rip thread about how to control nerves as well. Again, you just have a like pretty bad spawner awareness on like when you should be mining this stuff. Cuz like yes, the blazes just spawned. However, like, for a couple of cycles this entire run, you're just in the middle of it when you can see that it could pop off at any second. And does.
But again, because the spawn cycles are so quick, and your um, rates were actually really good, it ends up not mattering a whole lot. You're getting a lot of retime on this eye alone. This entire pause is definitely getting like counted against your time. Try to learn no retime boat eye. Oh my god, and it's not verifiable for sure now. I don't know what your hotkeys are, man, but this is not it. Okay, if you're re-measuring this off of the Ninbot stuff, um, you can just hit undo or redo or whatever. Um, I think it's redo, I can't remember. No, it's undo. Um, either way, like, you don't have to measure this again. Like, this entire split just went from, yeah, that was all right, to an absolute disaster. That's also not the dirt yet. But the fact that this recovery is going to be so quick is insane to me. Gotcha. So, um, yeah, I think that the big thing that just kept haunting you this run is just getting, like, tabbing out of your instance. Because this could have been incredible, but just completely destroyed the rest of the run. Other than that, I think just Bastion Route as well. Pigfall is just not great. Spawner awareness, um, and then really just the micro stuff that I talked about. Other than that, this was a really well played run, so good job.